Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create 3D Facebook images in Photoshop. Hey guys, it's Connor here from Quick Edits. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to create a really cool 3D image uh, ready to upload to Facebook as a 3D image generated uh, all inside Facebook. So th th here's an example of one I made uh, earlier. So this is a, uh, the, the, the tall poster, Ben's tall poster. And uh, what I've done, I've isolated the different parts of the image. So everything in the foreground, so the midground, and everything in the background. And I've, I've created it uh, with a depth mask. So uh, we're going to cover that later. And this is how you get this, uh, this type of result. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. So I thought I'd make a, a quick tutorial on how we got to show you guys how, how to make this thing. So uh, let's uh, jump into Photoshop. And as always, guys, I'll talk you through it step by step. So for my example, uh, this is the image I'm going to be using, and I've already isolated uh, the parts of it um, into into what into different layers. So I've got five layers here. I've got the background, and then we've got the explosion, and then the van, and then some uh, rubble in the foreground in front of the van, and then the, finally uh, these signs here right at the front. Now, in order for Facebook to generate a 3D image out of our image here, we need to give it a little bit more information other than just the image itself. So we need to create a depth map. So uh, what basically what depth map is is uh, is another image that goes along with this one and it gives just a little bit more information about the image uh, on a completely different uh, level so uh, the map itself will give the information and this time we're going to give uh, the information of depth and the way we're going to be doing that is uh, using a gradient between black and white black will be everything in the background the furthest away and then white will be in the foreground so anything that's closest to us Okay, so let's make a start. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just create a new folder for now on this. So I'm going to, I'm going to name it uh, Depth Map. And we're going to be placing all our depth elements in this folder here. So for now, let's work on the background. So the furthest thing away from us is obviously the sky. So we need to try and isolate the sky, uh, again, on a depth map, not on this image. And we're going to just turn it completely black. As, be as black is the furthest thing away, that's where we need to turn uh, the, the sky. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it by using the, uh, the pen tool. So I'm just gonna select my pen tool. I've selected shape for now. We can uh, change that to path, and I'm just gonna very roughly just create a horizon line here. The majority of this is gonna be covered up by the van and the explosion anyway. And I'm just gonna come back around and finish off our selection there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to make selection. Um, probably set the, the feather radius just down to zero for now. Press OK, and that's going to give me my selection. Now I need to put this onto a uh, new layer. So let me just create a new layer right now, and I'm going to put this one into our depth map. And once I'm selected, I'm just going to go grab my paint bucket tool, make sure I'm set to black, and I'm just going to fill that area in with black there. And once you've done that, we can now just start working on uh, the uh, the actual ground itself. So I want to I want to use my ground as an actual plane itself So I want this to be moving in 3d space not just as a flat image if I wanted it as a flat image I would just fill the whole thing with black, but for this one We're going to be using a gradient. So let me show you what I mean So I'm going to deselect for now, and I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to put this one uh, Underneath the sky and I'm going to go grab our gradient tool Which is underneath our paint bucket there it is here and with it make sure we're set from black to white press ok and just to test, let's see what this will give us already. Let's bring this one down. I'm holding shift to make sure it's given this complete uh, straight line. You can snap into different lines there. So I'm holding shift, bringing it down. I uh, just need it a little bit higher so we don't have such a harsh edge. A little bit lower, I mean. Uh, maybe that. I think that's looking pretty good. So you don't really see the horizon line anymore. And we've just got this uh, depth mask. Maybe just one more. Make sure I'm bringing it down as far as I can. I want it white right at the bottom. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. So already we've got two elements for our depth map. We've got the, the sky in the background, and now we've got the ground as well. So we've got the ground, and the sky is going to go on top. So let's hide these for now. And that's our background completely done, so we can hide that. And we're going to work now on our explosions. Now, obviously, these explosions don't look very good like this, but that's because uh, we do hide it with a van. So for this one, as it's already a composition, I've already turned it all into a PNG and it's all in one layer. Uh, if you are looking to do this as well, guys, you're going to have to get rid of all the backgrounds on your elements. And now we can just, once you're on it, you can hold on your command and click on the thumbnail and that's going to give you a selection. We're then going to make a new layer and we're going to uh, set that above our sky and our ground. And we're going to bring back our colors here. So now this time we need it slightly 
off the background. So we don't need it completely black, but we don't want it white as well. So we want it sort of uh, near the black area. So we're going to go, we're going to select maybe a uh, dark gray. Maybe that'll do for now. Press OK. And then I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool once again. I'm just going to click down and that's going to cover everything in gray, just like that. And we're just going to keep working on these elements one by one. So again, let's uh, select our next one. We're going to hide our depth map. Now we'll leave them on. We can just hide the folder. So this time we're going to be working on the van. Again, I'm going to go to my move tool and I'm just going to command click on the thumbnail. And that's going to give me a perfect cutout selection. And then I'm going to go to a new layer again. And I want to bring back our depth. Now, with this one, we can already cheat uh, with what color we want to use. Uh, basically, we want this one to be at the center frame uh, for our image. So to make sure we're, we're picking on uh, the right color, uh, we just need to see where the color, uh, where our van hits uh, the gradient on the floor. And that's the color we're going to be selecting. So I'm going to go to my color. And I'm just going to use my color pick here. I can zoom in. And just where it's selecting the floor there, I'm just going to click right there. And that's going to give us the perfect gray that we need. So we can press OK. Go again to my paint bucket tool and just fill that one in as well. And now you can see our depth map is starting to take some shape here. So we just need two more elements. So let's move on to the next. We're going to hide our map again. And this time we've got some of these. Go to our move tool. Command and click on the thumbnail. I'm going to create a new layer. Make sure it's on top of our van once again, and we're going to go to our paint bucket tool. Uh, let's select the color. Right now, uh, we're set to this uh, van, and don't forget, we only have one more above uh, after this one, which is our complete foreground layers, and they're going to be pure white. So let's go just halfway with this. There, there's pure white, and this is where we're at. So I'm just going to go halfway, just there, and I'm going to paint bucket that area there. Deselect, and um, we're almost finished. Let's just finish it off with the last one. Hide our depth map. Then we hide our rocks as well. Command click, get our selection, make a new layer, show our depth map. And this one is going to be set to pure white. Go to our paint bucket and let's just fill that in with white. And there we go, guys. That is our completely full done uh, depth map right there. So all we have to do now is export these as PNGs and uh, send them over to Facebook and Facebook will do the rest. Okay, so we need to generate two images. So for now, let's just get our original image, uh, which is our poster. Let's go to File, down to Save As. Uh, let's call this one Composition. And drop down our format and select PNG and just click Save. Okay, now we need to save our depth map as well so we can just bring back our depth map. Again, file, save as. Uh, this time we're going to call it composition underscore depth. Just like that. Uh, make sure we set a PNG and just press save. Okay, and once you've done that, all that's left to do is to jump into Facebook and let's create a new post, adding in our images. So we've got our depth and our composition. Highlight both of these and import these. And the Facebook will understand that it's, uh, you're trying to create a 3D image and it's going to create that for you right now. It doesn't take too long. And there we go, guys. Just by using the depth map, we've created a really uh, decent uh, producing uh, 3D image right there in Facebook as well. And that's, uh, that's looking really good. I'm really pleased with that. Now, if you're trying this on your own image and you see that there's something wrong, it's an anomaly that's not meant to look like that, uh, if I just show you ever so slightly, there is... Uh, up in the corners here, up around uh, the explosions actually, uh, you can see that most of our explosion is uh, attached to uh, our depth map, but a lot of it is behind attached to the, the sky as well. Uh, for this example, it doesn't look too bad, but let me show you why it's decided to do that. And I can show you here that if we just look at the explosions above, some areas are uh, the, 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 the correct shade and then others are a little bit darker. So you might just have to go in and paint these a little bit brighter if you want it on the right uh, depth map. But for this example, I think it looks pretty good and I'm, I'm really pleased with the, the outcome there. Uh, these can be very temperamental, so when you are creating your own, you may have to go back and forth once or twice between Photoshop and Facebook just to see how these are, are working for you as well.
As you can see as well, I have created a new uh, quick edits uh, Facebook page. I haven't really uploaded anything to it just yet, just a couple of uh, the original uh, videos I put up for now. Uh, but if you guys fancy heading over to there and giving us a like, I will be posting the 3D images onto this page so you can go and have a look as well. And any uh, recent videos I'll be uh, uploading to YouTube will also go onto there as well for you to watch. And there we go guys, that's how we create a really simple 3D Facebook image in Photoshop. I really hope you enjoyed this video, uh, please drop a like and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. As always guys, I'll see you in the next video, thank you very much, bye!